Good morning. This is my second Mother's Day as a mom of three, but my eighth with only two children present. My name is Ashley Mew. I grew up attending St. John's along with my parents and family. I have most recently attended Emmanuel Lutheran Church, but I also stay connected here, which is why I saw Pastor Tom's email about the series you're doing on prayer. I sent him my own recent experience with prayer and the loss of my daughter Josie a year and a half ago. And he responded by asking if I would share it with you here on Mother's Day. When he asked, I didn't know if I would have the courage to do it. However, I said yes because I wanted to share some of the ways that God has shown me that he's still faithful in the midst of such a difficult season in my life. I know that I'm not alone, and I don't want anyone else to feel that they're alone either. The song I know by Big Daddy Weave says, You don't answer all my questions, but you hear me when I speak. You don't keep my heart from breaking, but when it does, you weep with me. You're so close that I can feel you when I have lost the words to pray. And though my eyes have never seen you, I've seen enough to say. I know that you are good. I know that you are kind. I know that you are so much more than what I leave behind. This song particularly speaks to my prayer journey. I've always felt that God is listening to my prayers, even if they're not answered immediately. However, he answers them in his time. Rob and I found out we were going to have a baby girl in February of 2020. Just shortly after our first ultrasound, we learned that our baby girl Josie had a health issue in utero. Although it was devastating news, we were hopeful since her condition had a 95% survival rate. We loved on and prayed over this baby for the 28 weeks that she was with us in the womb. Unfortunately, things quickly turned as her health began to deteriorate. In addition, I started to develop a condition called Muir syndrome, which resulted in my organs starting to take on fluid, as Josie's organs did as well. The doctor said they needed to take her early. She did not make it through the birthing process. I couldn't believe that I had prayed so hard and the outcome was so awful. How could God not hear my prayer? We were very anxious and fearful. I had to make many decisions that I never thought I'd make way too quickly. We also had to tell our boys and hope that they were understand, would understand without understanding too much. But as the days went by, it became evident that although God did, did not keep our hearts from breaking, he was right there alongside us the whole time. God fully restored my health. He was evident in the joy that my other two children brought to me, and the strength of my fiancé, Rob, and the support of my family and my friends. God was there in the kindness of the nurses, the doctors, and the hospital staff. I'll never forget the nurses and chaplain holding hands and circling us in prayer at the hospital, pre-COVID, of course. And now, a year and a half later, not only do we look back on my pregnancy with Josie and see God's comfort in the midst of our suffering, but he has brought glimpses of joy and hope. For example, just as I know that Josie is with God in heaven, I know that he also has a plan for us here on earth. I've been able to come alongside another family who went through the same thing. We were able to go back to the hospital and thank every doctor, nurse, and technician who made a difference in our life during that difficult time. We were able to treasure our COVID safer at home time instead of worrying about all the things that we weren't able to do. Even though God didn't answer my prayer how I wanted him to, he used prayer to change my heart towards our situation and still uses prayer to keep me connected to my baby in heaven. Proverbs 31, 25 says, She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. There are so many days that I feel like I'm failing as a mother. Whether it be the time I let my youngest develop scarlet fever, because I didn't know that strep throat doesn't always come with fever symptoms, or the time when I discovered that my oldest brought my free drink coin from the bar that sponsored my volleyball team as a show-and-tell item. There are many times that I feel I've let my kids down. There are also many nights that I'm so exhausted from parenting and being a chauffeur, doing chores, that I fall asleep without even finishing my prayers. But then my youngest will tug on my hand to stop me and talk to the homeless man on the side of the street. 
or my oldest will help his brother get ready for bed, and I know that I'm doing an okay job. Sometimes we get so caught up in the craziness of day-to-day -day living that we, me especially, forget to find joy in the way that God is present in our kids. And let me tell you, moms, us moms are cheering you on because you're not only doing it, but you're raising your kids to know God as you go. This is one of the lessons that God has brought us out of the season for me, to be more at peace now with the imperfections of parenting and knowing that my perfect Father in heaven is with me and my family. To conclude, I'd like to share Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your path. I know God has good intentions for my family, even if I'll never fully understand why he didn't spare my daughter. I see God's hand in my own healing so that I can still be here for my two boys, and I'm thankful. And I can see God's hand in the hands of so many others in my life who were there for me when I needed them the most. Rob, my parents, my friends, other moms. All this has been God's answer to my prayer, showing me that he's here with us just like Big Daddy Weave sings. You're so close that I can feel you when I've lost the words to pray. And though my eyes have never seen you, I've seen enough to say, I know that you are good. And I hope today you know that too. I know that you are good. I know that you are kind. I know that you are so much more. I know that I am loved, I know that I am saved, cause even in the fire to live is Christ, to die is gain, I know